winners. Look, welcome to Terry's Tips. Guys, get a notebook, get a pen, because I'm gonna share with you today a quick credit score hack. Something that is quick, something that is easy. I don't care if you are a 500, a 600, a 700, an 800. This is something that all of you can do right now to increase your score. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna outline the FICO credit score buckets. I'm gonna give you some benchmarks, and then I'm gonna explain how to use the hack correctly guys and sorry for moving around but I'm outside walking and but I want to make sure I got this out to you okay and I'll do my nugget at the end so first high utilization and maxed out credit cards and maxed out revolving trade lines are one of the number one reasons why I see super low credit scores okay so the FICO scoring model has five buckets guys five buckets write this down the first bucket, the biggest bucket is 35%. That is payment history. Now guys, in that bucket, 35%, it actually includes anything you have negative, right? So if you have late payments, if you have collections, if you have repo, if you have foreclosure, if you have past due amounts, anything that is negative or adverse goes into that first biggest bucket, 35%. So that's why, you know, any kind of paying your bills, just paying your bills on time, even if you paid the minimum payment, can increase your credit score drastically, okay? Now the second biggest bucket, which we're talking about today, is 30%, which is amount owed. Guys, you know, AKA utilization. So what does that mean? That means anything on your revolving trade lines. Revolving trade lines, write this down, are your credit cards and your lines of credit. So let me give you an example. If you have a $1,000 credit card and you have $500 on that credit card, you are at 50% utilization. That is bad. If you have a $1,000 credit card and you have $300 on that card, that's 30% utilization. That's okay. If you have a $1,000 credit card and you have $100 on that credit card, that is 10% utilization. That's better. Okay, so buckets. 35% is payment history. 30% is amount owed or utilization, which is the second biggest bucket, which is why I'm talking about a credit score hack, guys. And the three smaller buckets that we're not talking about today are new credit, average account length, and your credit mix, meaning do you have revolving and installment credit? Revolving credit cards, lines of credit, installment are your loans, your mortgages, your auto loans, your personal loans, anything that is an actual loan where it's once you pay it off, it's a zero balance and close. Whereas with revolving like credit cards, you can pay it, it can be a zero balance, but that doesn't mean it's actually closed. So it's revolving, and goes on and on and on until you close that line. So credit mix, okay? Now, your benchmarks. Guys, you wanna have 30% and under utilization. That is good. 10% and under is better. I don't care if you are a 700, an 800. I don't care. If you guys get your utilization at 10% and under, that will increase your credit scores. So, action item. Okay, you want to, action item. That was like so rude. So, action item. Pull your credit reports right now, right? So you're gonna to go to um, annual, I'm not annual credit report, you're gonna to go to my, well you can, you can go to annualcreditreport.com guys. That will be a free credit report for you. That will be um, all three bureaus. You can pull TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. It will have all of your accounts. It will have your utilization, but it won't give you a FICO score, okay? For your FICO scores, I thought that was so rude just now, like he sees me recording the video. <laughs> Anywho, okay, but for your FICO scores, guys, I recommend my FICO or credit check total. Again, my FICO and credit check total. And I will go ahead and I will um I will update this, I will update the uh, description in the comments with those actual um websites, my FICO and credit check total, guys. So guys, 99% of lenders use the FICO scoring model. So you want to use the FICO scoring model, right? They don't lenders don't generally use advantage scores. So for the big money, for mortgages, cash out refinances, for business transitioning into business because they use FICO scores. So you want to know what your FICO scoring model is next you're going to look at your revolving trade lines right because you want to know are you at 50 percent are you at 60 percent are you at 70 percent are you at 80 percent what is your utilization right now so pull your reports look at your utilization okay and for the hack you want to actually increase your per your personal credit limits your limits on your personal credit cards sometimes you can do your lines of credit but really on your personal credit cards because just by increasing the limit guys 
that will actually lower your utilization with less money out of pocket and that will give you a huge credit score increase so let me explain let's say you have five credit cards let's say you even get credit limit increases on one or two or even three of them guys that can drastically increase your utilization ratio write that down your utilization ratio so that you then will have lower overall utilization which will increase your score so when you pull your reports make a list of your credit cards how many do you have one three five ten okay that's your first thing the second thing you're going to do is log into your online account so if you have capital one you're logging into capital one if you have discover you're logging into discover if you have you know american express you're logging into american express and you are updating your income listen to me y'all updating your income some of y'all have i'm sorry some of y'all have had um these credit cards for like three years five years ten years and it still says you make twenty thousand dollars a year or fifty thousand dollars a year and you make double that now so a lot of times guys they have your credit limits based on what your income is so update your income to show your gross to show your household income the more income and be truthful y'all but listen to my nuggets i said use your gross that can make you have a little bit more income use your household income so say you know your husband and wife or say you're you know um you're engaged or whatever and you each make forty thousand dollars a year well then your household income is eighty thousand well on your income on your credit cards it may say that you make thirty thousand or forty thousand so update that because your household income is actually eighty thousand dollars gross for the both of you so guys go ahead and update your income first online okay and then the third step is you are going to call not online you're going to call what am i going to do terry i'm going to call call your credit card companies and say hey i've had this credit card with you for one year for two years for five years i want to know if i'm eligible for a credit limit increase if it is a soft inquiry say that specifically and on the phone they will tell you yes you qualify no you don't qualify yes it will be a hard inquiry yes it will be a soft inquiry guys if it's a hard inquiry then say no thank you i'm okay if it's a soft inquiry go for it because the worst thing that can happen is that they can say no right and like i said if you have five credit cards if one of them or two of them double your credit limit or just update it a sum 500 or a thousand dollars that's going to make the utilization on that credit card get lower which is going to make the overall utilization lower which is going to increase going to give you a spike in your personal credit scores immediately and then guys when you're applying for credit you want to make sure you're applying when your utilization is let down nugget tip do not be applying for credit and your credit utilization is 80 percent and 90 percent and 100 percent that tells creditors that you are in financial distress that all of your cards are maxed out some of you guys may have perfect payment history but all of your credit cards are maxed out and that is the number one reason why you're getting denied because to lenders it looks like you are in high risk because you are going through financial distress because all of your cards are maxed out come on somebody okay so if you have five credit cards don't be overwhelmed call one monday one tuesday one wednesday one thursday one friday right make that an action item People who are successful execute at a high level, okay? So make that an action item and go ahead and update, um, call them. If one or two do it, then ask them to update your credit limit. Ask them when it will be updated on your reports. So it can take nugget, it can take between 20, um, 20, 30, 60, 90 days for the information to update on your credit report. So ask them, when will this be updated on my credit report? Because once it's updated, that's when your scores will be I'm recalculated guys and I'm sorry like I said I'm outside still and I want to stop and get this video out to you and so for my newbies I dropped nuggets to the entire video for my vets you already know and so I outlined what the hack was sorry because I'm outside guys a motorcycle <laughs> I outlined what the hack was I outlined where to get your credit reports I outlined the FICO scoring model buckets I gave you the benchmarks guys and so your next step is to go ahead and execute make a date that you're going to do this wait for the credit limits to be updated wait for your scores to be recalculated and then go get your new credit come on somebody and for my nugget guys the only difference between people who are wildly successful and people who are not is what they spend their time on and who they spend their time with let me say it again for the people in the back the difference between people who are wildly successful and the people who are not is what they spend their time on and who they spend their time with. So ask yourself every single day, the people that you're interacting with, this includes 
your friends, your coworkers, your neighbors, um, your besties, your the people who are um, you know that you're dating. You no, know, like ask yourself: Do they represent your past or do they represent your future? Are they pouring into you or are they draining you? Do they have the results that you desire? Let me say it again. Do they have the results you desire? Because if you're in a season of elevation and you are king and you are queen, then you need to be mindful of who you're spending your time with and what you're spending your time on. And I'm just going to say it. Everybody does not deserve access to you, especially in this season. Let me say it again. Everybody does not deserve access to you. If they are bringing you stress and drama, disrespectful, um, mean, just liars, cheaters, just a bunch of negative energy, then cut that off. Cut it all the way off because you cannot be blessed and be elevated and execute at a high level if you're constantly being distracted by a bunch of nonsense. Come on, somebody. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you for rocking with me because I'm outside. I'm about to get back to my walk for my own mental health and for my physical fitness. Amen. Have an amazing